good evening. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> All right, so it is Sunday night, and if you've been keeping up with me through this uh, situation, I have bought three crack houses in like the last three weeks. <clears throat> so I've already sold two of them, and I'm working on the third one right now. So if you saw my picture earlier, I let me just be clear here. I did not clean out that house. All right, I didn't do it. I had some people who went and cleaned out that house for me. But I've been over there like three different times this week. And let me just tell you all that at this house right now, the grass is waist deep. Um, the house didn't stink, surprisingly. It didn't stink. But when houses are empty for a long time, they do have a little bit of an odor about them. Um, but it didn't stink. It was, I mean, not like a hoarding situation, but it was definitely full of stuff. Like, lots and lots of stuff. So I hired a lady, the lady that cleans my house, I hired her and her sister to go out and clean it out. They filled up an entire dumpster full of stuff. That is on top of the stuff that the family ended up taking home today, okay? I have had this house under contract since like April 19th. I told them to go clean it out. Go clean the house. Go get whatever you want. When my dumpster gets there and my crew gets there, they're going to throw everything away. So if you want something, go get it. My dumpster's there. My dumpster's there. My guys are going to be there tomorrow. We're cleaning out the house. If you want something in the house, you need to get there before my people do because we're throwing everything away. So they had Friday and Saturday to get everything out of there. Sunday, my crew went to go clean it out, and the family was there, pissed off because I was throwing away their stuff. They had three weekends to get their valuables out of the house. I don't feel bad. All right, I just don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. Um, but you need to be prepared that if you let the sellers have access to the house after closing, they will take their sweet ass time. If you hold back part of their money until they say we are done, we have everything out, they will hurry and get everything out to get their money. Okay? So if you have a situation where you're waiting on them to get stuff cleared out of it, hold back part of their money in escrow, at the attorney's office, somewhere or another, until everything is out of the house. I messed up. I gave them all their money on Tuesday and I didn't have anything to keep them motivated to get their crap out except to say, I was going to sell this house. I'm going to throw everything away. I am not attached to anything in this house. It's all trash and it's going away. Going away. So, um, I gave them a couple extra days and that came back to bite me in the butt. But the thing that I really want to tell you about when you're buying houses, especially if you're going to be buying ugly houses, crack houses, junky houses, if you're going into less than uh, ideal circumstances, you need a hat or some sort of headgear. You need eye protection. You can get those uh, cheap $2 safety glasses at Lowe's or Home Depot. You need one of those white masks to put over your face because, listen, y'all, you feel kind of silly walking around a house with a big white mask on, but your lungs and your sinuses are very important to you functioning in the rest of your life, okay? There's mold. There's dust. There's just airborne contaminants, just, oh my God, there's just disgusting. Even if it's a clean, ugly house, it's just shit everywhere. So get some of those white masks from Lowe's. Get your glasses, uh, get your headgear, get the white mask. I don't go into houses without the white mask, and I don't care if I look silly or not. I don't give a shit. Do not care. Um, get you some gloves. Don't touch anything. Don't touch anything, okay? It's all disgusting. Even if it's kind of 
okay, if you know, the people are okay. If it's been empty, there's been critters over there, there's rat droppings everywhere, there's roach droppings everywhere. It's gross, all right? It might as well just be outside if nobody's been living in the house, okay? Um, and I showed y'all a picture the other day. I'm wearing my rain boots on a nice, pretty, sunny day. I'm wearing pants on a nice, pretty, sunny day because you have to protect yourself, okay? Wear gloves, wear shoes, wear pants, wear shirts with sleeves. Let me tell you, I was trying to be a good stepmom today and go to the ball game. Look at this. Look at that. Farmer's tan. Oh, yeah. Wear sunscreen. Okay? You have to take care of yourself. You have to take care of yourself. If there's loud machinery, if you got a guy there running a chainsaw, put some earplugs in, guys. Okay? I don't care how silly I look over at these houses. I'm going to be as protected as I can be. Okay? <laughs> you don't have to wear a hard hat, but do get something on your head. Get some glasses to protect your eyes. Get a mask to protect your face. Get sleeves on because you're going to be brushing up against stuff in the house. Get some pants. I don't care if you wear pretty dresses every day and you keep a change of clothes like some galoshes or overalls or something in your car and you go from pretty to working like that. All right? Get you some shoes, some boots, something. Gloves. Absolutely. Gloves. But here's the thing that I was not expecting this week. Okay? Because I'm in a house. I'm not outside. I mean, the grass is like waist deep and, you know, that's kind of whatever. Nobody's been living in this house. Y'all see this? Can you see that right there? This patch? I think I got poison ivy on my face <laughs> from being in this house. Y'all see that? Does that look like poison ivy to you right here? Because it itches like crazy. I was hitting the Benadryl hard yesterday. Oh my gosh, so hard. It itches so bad. Oh. Protect your face. If you see poison ivy, don't go near it. If you don't know if you're allergic to poison ivy, and you don't know if you see it or not, pretend that you do and just try to alcohol yourself down as soon as you get in the car. That's what you need. That's the last thing that I'm going to tell you you need in, in your personal protective equipment is a tub, like the Sam's gallon-sized tub of hand sanitizer in the car. And you just slather that on your arms, on your face. You put it on everything. Okay? Put it on everything when you leave those houses. I didn't do that. And I think I got poison ivy on my face. I got this little patch of itchiness on my face. And the only thing that I can figure is poison ivy. Now, it could have come from the dog. She was out in the woods, and I could have loved on the dog after she came in from dogging around. Or I got poison ivy from my crack house. Oh, it itches. So, <laughs> if you're going to look at pretty houses in pretty neighborhoods, you can go in your pretty clothes and you can be pretty. But on the TV shows where they take you in these ratty little houses and they're telling you it's amazing and then you see the guys in the background and they're in like the full white suits, like the hazmat suits, you might want to get one of those, <laughs> okay? Trust me on this. You don't need to be all dolled up looking at ugly houses. Okay? You'll end up with poison ivy on your face. <laughs> I think I've had it since like Thursday. So, I'm pretty much screwed at this point. But, I see all your suggestions. And I am going to be taking up all of those. The hand sanitizer in the car, lathering my face, would have been a good idea. Probably not good for my skin. Ashley, don't yell at me. But the poison ivy on my face, also not good for my skin. So, this is the shit that nobody tells you about real estate. Alright? You need, just like you have an emergency kit in your car, you need an emergency house kit in your car to protect yourself when you go look at these houses. So, that's all I wanted to tell you today. Except, now we've got the house cleaned out. 
it looks really good. If you're into that whole like rustic farmhouse look, this house is pretty awesome. And I'm going to list it on Zillow later. This is my last little rant. The reason agents, investors, wholesalers, I hate Zillow, I'm going to do a video on this later um, because I didn't even look it up. I bought this house. I didn't even run the comps on it. I bought it so cheap. I bought it so fast. I just bought it. I didn't run the comps on it, but tonight at dinner, Jason and I ran the comps on it, and we're having a fight over whether or not, I think this house is like a $25,000, $30,000 house, and he thinks it's a $50,000 house. I'm not going to tell you how much it was on Zillow. I want you to leave it in the comments here. I'm going to see if anybody can guess how much Zillow listed the Zestimate on this house. I bought it for seven. I bought it for $5,500 plus $1,000 in taxes plus about $500 closing costs. I'm $7,000 in this house. Okay? I think it's $25,000 to $30,000. I think it's worth $25,000 to $30,000. Jason thinks it's worth $50,000. And Later, I'm going to do another video. I may not be able to do it live because I don't know how to screen share when I do a live video. Um, but I want you to leave it here in the comments. Tell me how much you think this house is on Zillow. I'm 25 to 30. Jason is 50. Y'all tell me how much you think it's going to be. Pam says 65. Randy's at 125. Fabi's at 70. Y'all keep telling me. We'll run some tallies here. I'll, I'm going to go take a shower real quick so I can get all the grossness off of me again. Um, I gave you a walkthrough when it was full of junk. I did not give you a walkthrough now that it's clean. I'll, I'll see if I can do that tomorrow. So, y'all leave me some guesses. I paid seven. I think it's 25 to 30. Jason thinks it's 50. Guess how much Zillow has it on for the Zestimate. The Zestimate. This is going to prove why people in real estate hate Zillow and the Zestimate. So when you call me and tell me that the Zestimate says, and I laugh at you, this is going to be the reason that I'm going to use for now until forever as to why the Zestimate is crap. So, y'all get you some personal protective equipment. If you're going to look at ugly houses, don't get all galled up and go over there in your heels. That's not the kind of real estate investing we're doing right now. Okay? I do buy pretty houses. It's a two bedroom, one bath. I do buy pretty houses, but in the last three weeks, I've closed on three ugly houses with cash. Somebody else's cash for two of them. Use my own cash for the third one. So, y'all leave me some guesses. Let's see what this house is worth. And I'll be back in a little while uh, before we start the Mad Men. Bye, y'all.